Now, a man who is very much American, one of our favorite people at BYU, associate head coach Heath Schroyer, joins us on a game day about three hours before tip on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Coach, great to have you with us. Thanks for taking some time. You got it, guys. Anytime. Hey, we learned a few weeks ago that one of your go-to bands is Nickelback. Coincidentally, Nickelback was in concert last night at the Hard Rock Hotel in Vegas. Please tell me you convinced the coaching staff to go with you to get yourself mentally <laughs> right for the game. No, hey, I, I'm going to have to catch them some other time because uh, I, we got too much to do this weekend, that's for sure. You're a little busy. Uh, three hours before tip, What is the, what are you up to now after you talk to us and what have you been doing, and then what's the process before getting to the arena? Well, you know, we, we obviously had breakfast, uh, you know, a few few minutes ago, watched film, um, you know, just reviewed the game plan with our guys one more time. And, uh, you know, and then as, you know, every coach has their own routine or what have you. And uh, I just kind of, you know, try to play the what if game to myself. And, uh, you know, what if they do this and what if they do that so that you're kind of, you know, somewhat prepared for uh, for those moments. You've already given them some thought and things like that. So, um, and then, you know, obviously, same thing, shower, shave, get dressed, and head over there. At what point in the uh, process do you close the book mentally and kind of relax and just are calm before the game? Or are you constantly kind of playing that what if and playing out scenarios until the game starts? Um, you know, probably about an hour before, you know, on the way there, um, you know, personally, and everyone's different, but on the way there, I try to just you know, um, clear my mind a little bit. Uh, I usually take a nap before, uh, before the game. And, uh, you know, so early games, it's hard to do that, but, um, you know, usually just, you know, try to just on the bus ride, just kind of clear your mind. And, um, you know, you as my dad would say, you know, the haze in the barn. I mean, we, we prepared and, um, we've watched film and I think our staff has done a great job in preparation. And now we just have to go out and play and execute and, uh, you know, hopefully some uh, some shots go in for us, and hopefully a few of them don't go in for them. I like that game plan, Coach. <laughs> I think that's a fantastic game plan. <laughs> You've coached in just about every scenario uh, at this point in your career. How does the tournament setting and preparing for that differ from regular season games for you? Well, I think, you know, obviously tournament play is, uh, you know, every game is just amplified. You know, every game is, uh, you know, you, you win and you, you know, you win, you move on if you, if you lose, you go home. So, um, you know, it, there's a lot at stake. Um, every game obviously matters throughout the year, but I just think that the intensity level of, of conference tournament play is just something that uh, it's hard to describe until you've been through it. Um, and, and I've been very fortunate to, to be in this wacky business for a long time and, uh, and been in quite a bit of conference tournaments. But uh, the intensity level is just so different. You haven't played a game in this arena with BYU quite yet. Um, are are you going to miss the Thomas and Mac, or will this be a welcome change? Uh, no, it's fine, man. I uh, every court's ninety four feet, and you know, fifteen feet from the free throw line, and all that stuff. It's uh, no matter where you're at, um, no matter what league you're in, or what gym you're playing at this time of year. Um, you know, it, it, the intensity level is hard to describe. Um, you know, when I was in the OVC and we beat Moorhead to get to the finals, you know, there was, there was nothing like it. You know, it was just like, you know, when I was at Wyoming and we beat New Mexico to get to the semis. I mean, the, the same feeling that you have, um, it's similar. No matter who you're playing or where you're playing at this time of year, these games really matter. And uh, they mean something to the players, the coaches, and the fans. And uh, it's exciting. Follow him at H. Schroyer on Twitter. He's Schroyer, associate head coach for BYU Basketball, with us on game day. A couple of weeks ago, you played this very same San Diego Torero team in San Diego. What kind of adjustments do you need to make for the game today? Well, you know, I think that obviously we have to score the ball better. Um, you know, I thought that, um, you know, we took a lot of quick shots, not so great shots um, at their place. And then defensively, I think, you know, Neubauer really hurt us, especially early in the game. And, you know, they have some, you know, they're, they're a hard matchup for a lot of people and they're a hard matchup for us because of their, you know, their post guys, especially with Neubauer and Pinero and those guys can go inside and outside and they can shoot the three and put it on the floor and post you. So, you know, we're going to have to do a really good job team defensive wise, where we're going to have to really be in the gaps. We're going to have to, you know, provide early help and, and just do the things that we do really well. Um, and, I, you know, we've talked about as a staff with our guys, I mean, there's a few tweaks here and there to our game plan. But, you know, we're, 
you know, we're, you know, we're in the March and uh, kind of who you are is who you are. And, um, you know, we just got to be really good at the things we've tried to emphasize all year. Um, and that's, you know, obviously being efficient in the half court offensively and defensively and being opportunistic and, uh, and scoring the ball when we have advantages and, and trying to limit second shots, you know, just trying to, you know, control the defensive glass. And if we do those things, then I like our chances. Heath, uh, Dave Rose was on the show yesterday, and he said that the team needs to play more connected. And then I followed up and said, what do you mean by that? And he said mentally. What does that look like in your opinion, that mental connection? Well, I think that, you know, when, when you're connected, uh, especially, you know, you can talk about on the defensive side of the ball, when you're connected, everyone's on a string. You can see the group kind of moving together in sync. Um, you know, they're, you know, so if one guy's helping, another guy's getting ready to help for him. And there's and, and you and you move in unison. That's what, what it means to be connected defensively. And then offensively, when the ball is really moving, when you get two on the ball and the ball gets spit out, and, and now you're playing from an advantage and, and the ball doesn't get sticky, um, those are those are things that you can really tell if a team is connected. And um, and then obviously the, the the you know the the simple things everyone understands and knows is the communication. You know, what do the huddles look like at the free throw line? And what does the communication look like verbally um, on the defensive side of the ball? And those things. So th- those are just some some real examples of being connected. Um, we've talked about that all year. And um, I think when we've, when we've been really good, uh, you can really see that we're really connected. And, uh, you know, and, and throughout the course of the year, you're always going to have bumps and stump your toe. And for us right now, it's just to really be connected and um, on both sides of the ball and do the things that we just talked about. What's the psyche and mentality of your team like right now, having been with them just a few moments ago, going over film and eating breakfast? Uh, I think they're great. You know, I thought we had a great practice yesterday. Um, you know, I think they're anxious to play. You know, at some point in time, you can, you know, you, you're, you talk about your opponent and you talk about, you know, scenarios so much that at some point, and I think we're at that point now where, you you know, you just got to go out and kind of clear your mind and, and trust your instincts and uh, trust your scouting report and trust your teammates and, and just play and play the game. And uh, I think that's where we're at right now. We buried the lead here. Heath, uh, what did you guys have for breakfast? <laughs> well, we had, uh, you know, the, kind of the normal deal, eggs and pancakes and bacon, sausage, all that good stuff. Oatmeal. That's a winning breakfast. That is a winning breakfast. That's Absolutely. Right. All right, Coach, before you go, we'd like to uh, give you some BYU Sports Nation karma. I'd also like to tell you that Jerem Jordan has said he will shave his head if Uh-oh. BYU wins the West Coast Conference Tournament. 